Hey, welcome to the Ruby Tuesday. My name is Ruben, and this is my review for On My Block Season 4, the final season. Let me know in the comments below who is your favorite character and what you are expecting from this season. Let's jump into it. <laughs> so, My Block returns with 10 episodes, about 30 to 40 minutes apiece. And it's a bittersweet series. Uh, I think you're going to have a lot of emotions uh, in this series, uh, as expected. If you've been invested with these characters, Monse, Ruby, Jamel, Caesar, Jasmine, Oscar. If you've been invested in these characters from the beginning and you love to hate some because of some of the decisions they've been making along the way, then this one is the culmination of that. It is a series that feels like it's too harsh. So the remaining I guess, storylines that we've been wanting to be completed um, it kind of is the first half. And then the second half is more feeling like a goodbye to our characters and our storyline, which I guess is what they wanted to do. It must be incredibly hard to wrap up a series like this. Um, and not a lot of seasons do it that well. There have been huge things like Game of Thrones that just don't quite know how to stick the landing. But I'm happy to say I think the way they've done it is a homage to the characters and to the fans. Uh, and along the way, you're going to expect them to go one way and then maybe they might make a few choices that do the opposite thing. For me, the shining moments in these 10 episodes comes between Jamel and Abuela. Their on-screen chemistry, um, not romantic, but in just their friendship that they have formed is just palpable it's something that you just love seeing them you every time they're on screen together you probably have a massive smile on your face and that's what this series is it's an amalgamation of things that probably shouldn't work but do really well it reminds me a lot of fresh prince of bel-air sex education and then a drama that gets really dark at points and it seems like it's a storyline that shouldn't work. And the, this particular season really kind of showcases that. There are moments when they go into really deep, dark, I guess, themes of life that can happen, sometimes don't happen, sometimes should happen. And they really shine a light of those in like the darkest way. You're going to feel sad. There's going to be moments in this series, it's particularly season four, where you're like, wow, that hit home, that hit hard. And then it's like a comedy, almost slapstick, almost uh, you expect to hear some canned laughter in the background. Thank goodness that's never been a thing in the show. But that's what it, it feels like. Everybody is on the end game again. But I think it's mostly because they're really into their characters by now. Where we pick up is two years afterwards. And we have the aftermath of the previous season to deal with at the beginning. And that is very quickly unraveled. The team seem discombobulated our friends. And it takes them a while to come and kind of get back together. And once it's all sorted out, it feels much more comfortable. I think some people might find it difficult to watch the first couple of episodes because it feels wrong. When they're not together as a group, when they're not friends, it feels wrong. Once they get back together again, you can breathe a sigh of relief. They can tackle things. But again, it is a coming of age learning about life in various different circumstances. There's a big prom event at the end, which is the culmination of the story. So at the beginning of the season, they sort out their issues. They're a bit broken. They're always broken. And at the end, it's kind of reflecting on everything that's come before and also that there is this speech where uh, they talk about how they are broken people. And I, I reflected on that and I thought, yeah, this has done a very good job at shining a light on some, some of the themes that young people go through, as well as old people, and then showing us what really matters. And it's the relationships that are formed in between this. And this is really one that really kind of stands on its own. I think people might enjoy, might have enjoyed previous seasons because there's been more of a deep arc and more intense thriller parts like one of those cliffhangers that we've had from season two and three uh probably season one as well as we start trying to figure out how they're going to get um caesar out of the mess he's in and the broken relationship between his brother that is all part of the story but when it comes down to it it's the relationships of these broken people that is what i think transfixes people why we're so entwined into liking these four. So you've heard who my favorite characters are for this season, but that's not to say that detracts away from what's going on with some of the other characters. I think for the most part, everybody gets their time to shine. Their stories are completed for the most part. You're seeing where their, where their trajectory of life is probably going to take them. I'm glad they didn't stretch this series out. And I'm hoping that um, 
nobody does like a, a, a spin-off series or anything. I think it's a nice contained story and should stay that way. My ranking for uh, this series would be um, as it stands, one, two, three, four. Not that four is terrible. I just, I think they're almost on par with each other. I think the first one was great because it's unique. The second one had a, a fantastic story arc. The third one is uh, kind of developing those relationships. And the four, the fourth one kind of reflects back on all of those three. It's almost a contained story, basically. Uh, so it's hard to rank them separately, it, looking at it as one story. So I'm going to give this four out of five Nicolas Cages. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about this finishing. Were you happy with what they did were you sad did you shed some tears about some of the characters thanks so much for watching this don't forget to like and subscribe but most of all until next time remember live long tuesday <laughs>